Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. America's favorite pastime is back in full swing, and baseball isn't usually one of those sports that I'd watch on TV, but nothing says summer quite like sitting down in person to watch a baseball game. So today, we're gonna to be making this baseball stitched bracelet. I've seen people do this out of an actual baseball. They'll cut out the stitching and turn that into a bracelet, but we're making one out of Paracord today, and I think this is a pretty good replica. So for this project, we need five feet of 95 cord, in Imperial Red for the laces, and then eight feet of white 550. And I've got that pre-cut into a five foot section and a three foot section. I'll be building it on a jig, but you don't necessarily need one of those at home. Let's dive in. To start off, we're gonna take that three foot section and fold it in half and loop that top end around the peg on our jig. And then on this bottom side, we just wanna tie an overhand knot. It doesn't really matter where that's at, just close to the end. We're gonna be redoing that with a better knot later. Hook that around our bottom end of the jig and stretch the core strands. This is not gonna be the final length of our bracelet. We're just holding it in place for now. And then at that top end, we're gonna take one end of our five foot section of white and just cow hitch it onto the cord. So we'll take it around both strands, lay this over the top, underneath, over the top like that, underneath again, and down through. So there's our cow hitch with our long end coming off one side. We'll loosen that up a little bit to start our red cord. And that's just gonna sit right underneath the core strands here. So just bring it up through those two loops of the cow hitch. Once it's tightened down, it should look about like this with our white cord on the right side and our 95 red on the left. Now this weave is pretty much like the Cobra weave. We're gonna start by putting our right side cord underneath, and then this red cord is gonna go under that. So it's kind of like we're building the Cobra upside down, depending on what way that you learned. Bring the red cord underneath and up through the middle before going down through this loop on the right. Pull all of your extra through, and when we tighten it down, we just see one little stripe of red coming up from the middle. We'll slide that up to the top. We only want a small loop at the top of our jig, just enough to fit a toggle knot through at the end. Now we'll do the same thing, but reversed. So that white cord will bring underneath the bottom, the red cord underneath that, to come up through the middle and down through that left loop. Tighten that down, and it looks like that. When making this, we want our middle strands to stay straight. This white cord is gonna be going back and forth on the bottom of the bracelet, and the red cord is gonna be doing most of the, the weaving. So that's really all there is to this weave. We're gonna keep going until we get a portion that's long enough to fit around our wrists, and then we'll stop, and I'll show you how to do the toggle knot. there's as much weave as we need and we're just going to end our two cords here and add a toggle knot to the end. So to end the white cord it's pretty simple I'm just going to do a half hitch so bring it underneath over the top and through and when we cinch that down nice and tight that's not going to go any place. So we'll eventually clip the ends there, but first we can make our toggle knot and then clip all of our ends at the same time. So we'll set those out of the way. And this toggle knot's pretty easy, but we'll go through it here. We've used it in a couple different bracelet tutorials. With the right side cord, we're gonna make a loop across the top like this. And with that left side, a loop across the back. And then with that left loop, this cord runs over to the right side, and we're gonna bring it down through this right hole. And this cord over here from our right side loop, bring it around the left 
and up through that left hole. Tighten those ends down. And we're left with this knot right here. Just as a nice toggle that catches on the loop on this other side and makes a nice bracelet closure. So now once those are all pulled tight, we can go ahead and clip our ends. We just wanna make sure that those knots at the end of our weave are good and tight before we clip them. So that includes at the starting end too, just tighten up that cow hitch before we cut any of our cords. So there's our finished baseball stitch bracelet. There's a couple other varieties of this bracelet. Um, I think we have a fishtail one that was made on our channel quite a while ago, but I think I like this best of any that I've seen so far. It looks the most like an actual baseball stitch. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, we'll put links to the supplies down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.